What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to Malaysians in action again. This time cleaning up homes of flood victims. Guys, we've prayed for, for everyone affected uh, with this most recent flood and everything. Um, you guys might have seen our reaction to the flood, I believe, the day of, if not the day after it happened. Yeah, I think it was like the um, day after. Yeah, and... and I can't imagine once we drop this screen down and you see what we're looking at I can't imagine what everybody's going through and if there was lives lost and and I mean just all of your personal belongings things like it's that so it's so much work it's devastating yeah you know? it's a lot of work a lot of money that needs to be spent yeah a lot of lost family heirlooms I'm sure yeah, or... a lot of memories are gonna be gone you know yeah. uh, at least physical memories but um, again, we we send our hearts and prayers out to everybody that was affected by this, and um, I really wanted to check this out because it it's awesome seeing communities come together to to help others out. Um, this video was suggested to us by Amir Al Hafiz. <laughs> 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 Thank you again. I don't even know why. We need I even to like look. We need to meet you, and when we do, we need to give you like a medal. Right. Like if, I don't even need to look anymore at this point. Pretty much all the the videos we do about Malaysia are from him. So. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. Uh, I do have Swarn going through our uh, Discord as well, pointing out uh, ones that we will probably not get uh, demonetized with, and and ones right. that should do well and everything and. Uh, but this one we truly wanted to do because you know it it sucks going through things like this and we don't go through it you know really we we haven't truly gone but through I have this. family in in uh, southern Mississippi and southern Louisiana that that Katrina Katrina and and there are floods you know flash floods that yeah. that do tear up a lot of homes especially at the Gulf Coast of Mississippi that's why they have a lot of the houses on stilts right. similar to, yeah. to Malaysia but um, yeah where I grew up I dealt with tornadoes thankfully nothing ever hit us in, in, uh, directly but I've had neighbors and families uh, that I know that have lost homes so I mean this is this isn't like Tornadoes will skip homes. Right. This, this is, hits everything. This hits everything. Like this we, is way different. Like we had an F5 tornado come through uh, my entire town from, from my town to 40 minutes away to mm -hmm. where my high school was because we drove that far from a private <laughs> Jesus. school. Uh, they went all the way through F5 tornado, tore up everything. I mean, we used to have land full of trees mm -hmm. on our property and it's all flat land now. Yeah. And it took out so many houses, killed so many people. And it's it's just... Mother Nature is very ruthless. ruthless yes. You know? um, but everything happens for a reason. At least that's how I think. Um, so it just proves how resilient people can be. 100%. And I'm sure everyone affected by this is going to come out a lot stronger. Um, Closer for sure. Yeah. But again, we're praying for you guys. Uh, but let's hop into this video and check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> That's a cool logo, actually. TMI. The Malaysian Insight. Yeah, that's a little bad. Um, I'm at Taman Sri Nanning, Hulu Langat. This is my second day here. Okay. Uh, still on the second day, there's no electricity. Water has just resumed. And uh, clean up, it's not clean up. It's clearing up, it's still in progress. As you can see later, when we walk down, uh, there are about 2,200 1, over households here. And all are badly affected. Uh, there's nothing that they could salvage. Everything has to be thrown away. So um, this is my second day and there's still a lot of clean up to do. Yesterday we had uh, UUM students. They came with two bus loads. Today we are still waiting to get their release from their VC. Hopefully uh, the VC allows them to come. And we have still got individual volunteers who are coming. 
So we are averaging around 50 volunteers every day. And each volunteer would take uh, a house with five of us to, to just clean, just to take out all the, the, the mess, the, the sludge and everything. It has to be done in stages because right now, um, there's too much debris. There's a lot everywhere. And house appliances are all soaked. Mattresses are wet. Cabinets are all broken. So we have to clear that out first in order to clean. But um, we need to do this because the residents are morally down. They, they are just tired mentally and physically. So what we're doing is we're taking out of the house, put in front and expecting all the roros, uh, empty masjid from Bandarai will come and pick it up so that we can start another round of cleaning. So I want to ask for the people that were affected, are there like refugee camps or uh, places, for people, places to... for people to stay uh, that were affected by this that that otherwise would have to still stay in this same home with the wet mattresses and, and things like that? Or, are there places that these people can go are able to, to go? Or, yeah. Are, are they just, you know, kind of just having to tough it out, you know? I mean, they're definitely toughing it out, even if they have a place to sleep. Right, right. That is, yeah, I mean, the, the I was thinking the same thing when he was like, we have to do this in stages, because I was like, man, there's so much, uh, and I'm not trying to minimize people's personal belongings as just being garbage, um, but there's just so much, uh, what did he call it, what did he, the term he used? Uh, there's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be removed from the area so they can continue cleaning up the area. Right. So I'm kind of curious of how they're going to pull that one off because that's like a lot. Like, and we're looking at one picture here, but I mean, every different view that he gives us. Well, I mean, this is just like one alleyway full of out homes. This isn't. Yeah. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to say that this is all garbage because this is somebody's life. Right. In a pile that's been destroyed by this weather. I mean, at, at this point, like he said, it's it's all ruined. It's it's all trash at this point. But but at it one sucks. point, this was people's lives. Yeah. I mean, there's know? clothes. There's uh, I think that's a looks like a fridge of some sort. Uh, we got tons of fans, <laughs> like lots of fans. I've seen all the fans. Um, I mean, mattresses. That's. Like I, I feel so bad. Like I, I, I live in a way that I can't. It, you know, I can't say that I've been there. I can't say that I understand. I can only say that I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel bad. Like, oh. Refrigerator. Hopefully it's reusable. But probably not. Uh, today we have a lot of volunteers from uh, government agencies. Uh, different from yesterday, which uh, some random people just come and uh, help out. We can see yesterday two couples from Balakong come and set up a kitchen for the locals to eat. Uh, That's awesome. I mm -hmm. think the, the, the NGOs now understand better the situation here, uh, which we don't have any water to spray out the dirt and we don't have any electricity. Although we already uh, prepared water jet and gen set, but we can use it, we can use it here. From my part, I organize uh, a few volunteers. Whoever wanted to volunteer, I will uh, coordinate them where to, where, which house to go, and we prepare the, the equipment, and we prepare the food for them. So they just can come, and hopefully when they come, they come uh, carpool so that we don't disturb much the traffic here. And see what sucks is, is since they don't have electricity, because they make those uh, those pumps. Yeah, like can, a water. Yeah. yeah, that you can just lay the pipe down and it'll suck all the water out and things like that. Right. But they don't have electricity to even use something like that. Yeah, so they're having to do the manual labor, which is super... I mean, I'm sure the sun is evaporating some of that water faster than they can even scoop it out. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, it just... <sighs> it's tough. And the 
the children that have to oh, you know, the children that have to go through it. You know, they don't know any different. They don't know what's going on. Shoot, some of them are probably having a blast until they have to go to sleep. Yeah. Like my kids would find and, and that's what's so awesome about the innocence of children. They can find the 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 best part of everything. Uh, you know, I mean, unfortunately I went through a divorce and when I had to tell my kid, I was breaking down and my kids right. were like, so I get to stay at your house too. That's what I'm talking about. I, like right. finding the, the, the fun and anything, even if it, if, if life is getting you down, you can look at kids and they're, they're, they're making the best out of a worst case scenario. Yeah. 100% which is good because it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. So you guys, again, I can't say it enough. Y'all are in our prayers, uh, each and every one of you that was affected, the ones that are out there helping and, you know, spending their their entire days out there just trying to repair people's lives and people's homes. Their normalcy. It's That's badass. It, to you guys it is, that are coming from different places, that's badass. Right. I'll be honest with you, if if a plane ticket wasn't Thirty five hundred dollars right now. We'd be there. Yeah. No uh, issues. Well, and at, at that same point, I would rather just donate thirty five hundred dollars. To be to fair, a relief to it. Um, It'd make more sense if I was going to spend that money just to travel to help. But I mean, it it does suck seeing people in these tough situations, especially through a computer screen, because we can't do anything about it. And yeah, we don't know you guys. We we know a lot of you that live in the area, um, and you guys comment on our videos and we chat in the Discord, but we don't know you, and we're those type of people. Like, we don't have to know you to want to be there for you and and want to help you. We're both the type of people that that will be there for anybody, you know. And I feel like the people that we've chatted with are the same way. I do too. Like, I don't feel like we would, and I think that's why we get along is because we're all kind of, we're, we, we, we come from different places, but we have all the same mindset. Like ever since we started this channel, it's kind of been that way. Right. So, and I mean, that's, that's our channel's culture is bringing cultures together. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's one, we live on the same planet. Yeah. We're hurtling through space. We're, we're all the, one big culture. Yeah, I mean, we all come. I mean, if there's somebody out there in space, aliens, they might look at us weird. But there's no reason that we have to treat each other like we're different or weird or anything right. like that. We're we're beautifully different, but we're all the same. Guys, if you would give this video a like, um, it definitely helps us get it out to more people, uh, spread awareness to the issue. Um, and maybe we can get some some people from other countries to donate to some causes to help this out um, Also, if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button. We will be traveling to Malaysia in a few months um, Unfortunately, not uh, Anywhere near KL. I think we've got a layover flight in KL and we're going to go to KK um, but we will have very soon future plans of going to KL, I believe as well. Um, so again, just click the like button, comment down below if you were affected um, or if your family was affected. That way we can, or at least I can personally pray for, for you guys um, because we, we that, that's really- That's the, what we got, that's unfortunately. We so Yeah, I wish we could offer more, but um, maybe God or Allah or whomever is a, Whoever's your higher power is, you know, will help us through this stuff. So yeah. guys, we appreciate you. And with that being said, my name's Miles. My name is Fez. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.